what's good YouTube welcome back to another video uh, I know this has been long awaited you know I said I was gonna do my Q&A a while back but um, I just said that you know I had a lot of things going on and uh, I just kept on pushing the video back but I went ahead and told myself just knock it out just get it out the way you know that's one of the things I do want to mention is about like me being like an athlete and stuff like that too um, there's a lot of times where like I feel overwhelmed like everything that I have going on like school and training and stuff and so I've really just been focusing on like building that like get it done mentality so you know I'm about to go ahead hop into this video for y'all and uh, enjoy first question what is your name so my 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 name is Israel Monsanto so when y'all see I am football I am it actually stands for Israel Monsanto football so I don't know like a lot of y'all might not have known that but you know what I'm saying that's what it is next question do you touch a soccer ball every day now see now see I'm not gonna lie to y'all I'm not gonna lie I don't touch a soccer ball every day and I know y'all gonna get on me for that like, I know I should um because you know and they'll tell you if you want to go pro you need to be touching the soccer ball every single day and they're right um you know but you know like I said like stuff comes up and you know I might not touch a soccer ball every day but I do try to get in as many touches as I can throughout the week you know just to stay Stay, stay afloat. You know what I mean. Next question: Messi or Ronaldo? Ronaldo. I know. I know. Yeah, some of y'all can kill me. It's Ronaldo, and I'll tell you why. It's because I feel like Ronaldo really. I don't. I, I don't really know. Like I've looked back at like Messi's past and like Ronaldo's past, and I've, I. I think I feel like I've seen more hardship coming from Ronaldo's side and I was able to see like a whole lot more of the work that he put in you know to get to where he's at um, there's a lot of times where I feel like with Messi it's like more so natural talent but with Ronaldo like I've seen a lot of work you know I have really seen a lot of work the like, same reason why I really you know like LeBron James it's not just because of all the miraculous stuff that he does uh, on the court but like if you actually sit there and you watch some of his like training videos when he's like in the gym by himself and he's just hitting like basic f free throws three pointers you know like uh shots in the paint you know layups on both on both hands and he's doing it over and over and over again and it's just like that repetition is like satisfying in a way the same feeling that i got from lebron like i, I honestly got that from ronaldo so i could say like when it comes to those two, it's Ronaldo any day. All right, let's see. All right, next question. This isn't so soccer related, but they said, when did you start growing your hair and what oil do you use? Um, to be honest with you, I think I started growing my hair back in sophomore year of high school. Just to give y'all a little like time update, I am, uh, about to be a sophomore in college so been about like four years like i guess it's like four years ago um oils i don't really put that many i don't put that much oil in my hair but if i do put oil in it it'll probably be like argan oil or like olive oil or something like that all right good question right here uh footballer during the season is it okay to train with heavy weights now like this right here um I go ahead and tell you right now like no it's it's not good to train with like heavy weights during the season just because like you're playing all the time and um, you know I don't know what uh, league you're in like if you're if you're like pro or if it's just like regular club soccer or if you're college but depending on where you're at like like for me in college we have games all the time you know there's games every week and so, like, for the amount that you're going to be playing, you want to stay as fit as possible. Um, and, you know, you don't you don't want to become, like, too restricted or muscle-bound. So, lifting heavy weights during season just really isn't optimal, you know, for to, to produce, like, the best results. You know, after, 
or you know like preseason like yeah like that's you know it's cool and everything like that or like over the summer like yeah it's cool um but like in season no you you know you want to just do be doing something like really light making sure that you're stretching and staying like flexible and everything so that you can perform the best um when the time comes next question someone asked tips to make legs stronger without going to the gym um in my experiences uh something that has really like grown my legs and got them a whole lot stronger and and in like a short amount of time too is like when i first went off to college and i was playing b1 in virginia um we were doing a lot of kettlebell exercises so i'll put like up a picture of a kettlebell so you guys can know what i'm talking about we did a lot of kettlebell exercises and those really got my legs like really like like really tight like really strong um you know a whole lot bigger uh so we did like kettlebell squats you know kettlebell swings and a, a whole lot of single leg workouts a lot of single leg workouts to make your legs like a lot stronger a lot quicker too rather than you know doing it like with both legs um so yeah but that's just from my experience though you know like i'm not like a i'm not like a professional when it comes to the fitness side and like you know, let me put this disclaimer in right now. I'm not a professional. Everything that I'm telling y'all is just from my experience alone. Um, but yeah, I can say that for me, like that's what's gotten me right. Next question. How to improve shooting? Honestly, you just have to go shoot, you know. Uh, go to a park. Find yourself a park like nearby if you can. Uh, open goal and just shoot. Just practice, practice shooting. You know, obviously... You want to have like a good technique, and um, you know there's plenty of like YouTube videos that you can watch to like get the right technique, how to shoot like a power shot, curve shot, and everything like that. But um, you know, once again, the more repetitions, like the better that you'll get. So the only way you're gonna get better is if you actually just go out there and do it. Have you ever gotten an injury, and how did you get it? So I did, I did, I got an uh, an MCL injury once. And, you know, thank the Lord, it wasn't anything too serious. I didn't have to go get surgery. But um, I did have, like, a grade 2 uh, MCL sprain where I had to have a full leg cast for for about six weeks. Six weeks, yeah. Um, and I will say, like, the recovery, the recovery for that was, like, a bit, bit gruesome, you know. Um, but that's with like any recovery any any time you're like recovering from an injury it, it, it's always is a lot harder but um what I have found is that you come out of those situations a lot stronger you'll tear like a muscle you'll tear like a, a tendon or a ligament or something like that and usually if you go the right way about recovering it can grow back stronger than it actually was before um, but that being said you do have to take care of it you know uh, especially like if you're an athlete the recovery you know can't be like a normal any normal person's like recovery would look like you would have to uh, go about it the way that like any athlete would but um yeah you know I have had like a couple injuries a few like here and there next question what's the best time for training anytime anytime like if you you have time go out there and train you know if you're talking about time of day I'm in Florida so, you know, it's hot around noon, so I'll probably go train a little bit later in the day, but honestly, like, it, it doesn't matter. At what age did you get a six pack? Um, so I, I don't know, I've always been fascinated with like having a six pack. So I think when I was like in first or second grade, I remember I was doing, I was trying to do like 50 sit ups a day just to get like a little six pack and it wasn't even really showing because like my body at that point like it wasn't I, I wasn't grown enough to really have my abs like show like that um but i mean yeah at a young age like i've always had like a six pack or just like a good physique you know just because like I've, I've always been playing and training at the same time so i would say like pretty young maybe about like third grade probably but yeah whatever age i was at third grade can you drop a workout to increase vertical for basketball players this is actually really cool like i really like that i'm able to like reach out to a lot of different athletes like it doesn't always have to be like just soccer but um this is something that i've 
research myself and from what I found is you know like strengthening your legs does play a role in, in, in jumping but it has more to do with defying the force of gravity and so from my research I've seen that that only really comes from jumping more but basically uh, and a lot of athletes like those fast twitch muscles like they're not being used because when you do like normal day-to-day -day activities you're not using fast twitch muscles for that like you're using it's like slow twitch muscles so any exercises that um, increase like the strength of your fast twitch muscles and actually get them activated that's the word I was looking for activated you have to activate them um, and so like you can do that with something as simple as jump rope you know jump rope and all the time you can you can go you do jump rope on one leg uh, and then switch legs you do like double bounds and then you can do double bounds like one leg and then you can go so far as to put ankle weights on while you do it um, with ankle weights you have to be careful because you don't want to um, you don't want to do anything with the ankle weights besides something like jump rope just because it can it, it can knock your balance off uh, end up being like disproportionate you know so it can cause like knee problems or or hip hip problems so you really have to be careful with ankle weights and really like research what it is that you're doing with them to make sure that they don't throw anything off but I've seen that it, it's okay to wear them while you're jump roping um, just as long as you don't go too high in weight I'd say about like five pounds like five five pounds it's fine and are you professional player hello I'm from Mexico I like your videos I appreciate that. It's your name, Leonels. Leonels underscore ten. I appreciate that. Um, I'm not a professional as of yet, even though that is what I'm like striving to be. Um, as of right now, I'm just playing, you know, regular college soccer in the states. Uh, my first year, I was playing D1 in Virginia, but it's it's not all that I thought it was, and I I'll let you guys know that like. You know, D1 soccer, the, the, the divisions, they really don't matter. Um, you know, not all D1 teams are all that they're cracked up to be. Um, and, I, and I experienced that firsthand at the school that I went to. Even the level, the level at all D1 schools is not always what it's like hyped up to be. Um, you know, so I didn't really have the best experience there. You know, me coming from Florida, going up to like Virginia and not even like more city area is more of like a it was more of like a rural area of Virginia um, and I I don't know I didn't really I didn't really you know blend like mesh with it well uh, honestly in, in the, the coaching uh, there were a lot of times where I didn't really get along like with the the coaching staff and everything just because we had two different styles of soccer um, so I found myself uh, wanting to come back home so I came back home and now uh, I'm actually going to be going to school in Miami to play at Beer University, which is D2, but they're really good D2, you know? And so it, it, it honestly is just about finding somewhere where you'll be more comfortable. Even if you weren't to play soccer, like would you still go there? And, and at first that is something that I did uh, look over. And I just thought like, oh, I'm just going to the school just to play soccer and everything like that. Everything else will be fine. But when I found myself not getting minutes, you know, not getting on the field, um, it was very discouraging. It was very discouraging. And then to be at a school that I know I wouldn't have already been at if I wouldn't have been playing, it just made it that much worse. So, um, yeah. So that's, that's where I'm at right now. Not a professional yet, but I'm definitely looking... You know, towards that in the future. Favorite player, Mbappe. Favorite player has to be Mbappe. All right, sorry, like I had the battery just died. Yeah, Mbappe. Mb Mbappe is like crazy good, and I really like how he uses his speed. He doesn't just abuse it all the time. Like he he knows he definitely knows when to use, it, and that's something that I want to get better at uh, in my game. So that's definitely a player that uh, I look up to. Him and uh, Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne is just like, bro, that man's passes are crazy. He can find you from anywhere. His vision is just like on another level. So those two players, like for sure. Last question, what do you like doing the most outside of football? Um, you know, some of y'all might not take me 
as like you know a little nerd but i actually like playing like pokemon like and i know like some of y'all like probably like what pokemon but like yeah like i really like playing pokemon um you know i watch a lot of animes um like even read like manga sometimes like but um yeah really just like playing video games like watching anime like hanging out with my friends and stuff like that is cool and i really like playing basketball too um i really taken a liking to basketball i find myself playing basketball a lot uh these days you know it's also became like sort of like an outlet for me to just go and like clear my head in a way that and soccer obviously but uh yeah so i guess that that concludes the video um and, and again, you know, I'm gonna try to get these out more, more often. Uh, I know, like, you know, I say like I'm, I'll post, and then like it might be like weeks later before y'all see like another post and everything like that. Um, you know, just to let y'all know too that I, I am still, you know, a collegiate athlete and everything like that. So I still do have like a lot of things going on, but uh, I'm really trying my hardest to like get these videos out for y'all because I'm really like helping y'all. I really like, you know, some a lot of y'all tell me like, you know, Israel, like, dude, you're such like an inspiration. Like, keep on going, keep on going. I appreciate that so much. I read all of your comments. So, um, yeah, like I'm really trying to keep on doing that for y'all. I would uh, be happy to see y'all in the next video. So, you know, stay tuned for that. And we out.